Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another BJ and Co video. Today we are doing some Civilization 5. If you didn't catch it this weekend, we had a big binge on the live stream, did a couple good games on it. Um, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about you today about settling. Where to settle your first cities, do you move, do you stay where you are, all that sort of jazz. So we're just going to jump on into it. What I've got here, uh, just random leader and typical multiplayer settings. So Pangea, Standard, Immortal, Quick Pace. And then the advanced setup, the one thing we've got here is Strategic Balance. If this is on, um, and this is kind of very important, when this is on, you're guaranteed on the tile that you start on that within your first city there will be both iron and horses. So we're just going to jump right on in. Which, and that, that affects positioning. Because if you move, you might be moving away from that stuff. So very, very important that way. And yeah, we're just going to kind of talk through probably a couple couple different spawns and what what to do, what makes the most sense, why might you move away, Might why might you stay where you are. So, right off the bat, um, if you don't have them up, toggle the map, you can should do your resource icons as well as your yield icons. Those are very, very easy to do and give you a ton of information. So, taking a look here, we've got um, a decent starting area. We've got some tundra underneath us, so we're at the low end of the map, um, but we do have a river, which is nice. Tundra doesn't tend to get a bunch of tiles, so we might want to move away, but now, okay, first things first, before you do anything on your first turn, you can take as much time as you want. Um, there is no turn timer on this or anything on the very first turn. Always move your warrior unit first or your scout or whatever because you get more information. Um, if you try to move across, you get two movement points. Most of them, if you move onto a hill or across a river, it uses up all of them. So what I'm going to do here, just looking, from a hill I'll get more vision range. So I want to go one here and then one here to see a lot more of what's going on here. So we've got some desert tiles here, we've got the river, we've got some hills. In terms of luxuries, we've got the ivory, we've got the silk, we've got truffles. It's nice to have those in range, you get a lot of happiness from them. Um, I also want a lot of growth right off the bat. So what I'm thinking from the looks here, now your city you can work three tiles in any direction once it's fully developed. So if I settled right where I was here, I could work up to here, all the way down to here, and then down into the fog this direction. So we can't reach the truffles, we've got all of this stuff in. But looking at this, I want to stay on the river, definitely, lots of production or lots of growth from that. Um, the hill will give us a defensive bonus for the city. 25% defensive bonus, which is nice. So. That's beneficial. There's no mountain to be against. If I move here, I'm still in range of all this ivory. I get the truffles. I'm in range of the cattle, which can be worked eventually. The only thing I might lose is horses and urine, or horses and iron by moving. But it, there's so many tiles I could spawn on in here, like all of the horses could spawn in here, that I think I'm fine. I'm guessing the iron is going to spawn on some of these hills or probably these three hills here. If I move here, I also keep the silk. So I'm going to go there. Uh, and then I'm going to settle right on the hill here. That'll give me a lot of production right off the bat. And then I can initially work. You should find your city soon. I can. So you can see the ones I can initially work here. And this is great because I'll work the city tile as well as one other one. And you don't want to be working something with less than two food. Otherwise, because that'll make your second citizen very, very slow to get out. Um, but yeah, so that's what I would do there. And let's just take a look. I've got the editor in here. Let's just see where our animal husbandry and our bronze working would be. So look at that, guys. We had... We now have horses there and there, which is great. Two horses right off the bat and iron in the city. You cannot beat that one whatsoever. Uh, we're also gonna take a look here. Uh, I think it's under this one, nope. Sorry, I'm new to this mod, guys, so. So I'm gonna explore the map. Oh. Here is something that may be helpful. 
so when we look here yeah so we had the tundra from there we would have had another iron whoop de freaking do i definitely think being on this river is going to give us access to a lot so that's what i do in that case so now i'm just going to do one more just to give you another another idea of it all right guys so we are back into our second game and again we want to move first um moving across the river is not going to get me anything moving into the trees will use up one all my movement so i want to move here first to see what i can see okay just more jungle tiles and then this is a hill on this side it looks like jungle hill river perfect so moving here i'd see one tile moving here i'll see two i want to move there to get better vision so everything i'm seeing here we've got the sugar the diamonds the bananas i'm not seeing any sea resources the other sugar here i definitely would not want to move off this river right you lose so many buildings you don't want to move off of that coastal already again i don't think i want to move off of coastal i don't see any benefit of going this direction settling in place isn't looking too bad um The only thing I might do here is settling on the sugar to get that initial boost of gold. Um, there's nothing that's screaming to me. That might be our iron there in the hills. But there's nothing screaming to me. So yeah, I would probably move there. Gives us a little bit more access to what's going on. Sorry, not what's going on. Um, it'll give us earlier access to sugar without having to work the tile later on. So if we found it there, again, we're getting the two full. Now we're getting the, the gold, which is nice. And you'll see we've got a nice tile there to work as well too. Lots of gold off the bat. So that's my thought process there. But again, let's, let's take a look. Where are our... So our horses, by moving, they're still both in range that are there. That's great. There's coal down beneath us. That's pretty awesome. And then we're going to do bronze working as well. And bronze working is right on the, so our, not our bronze working. Our iron is right on the hill there, which is great. And I'm just going to do a bit of an exploration just to see what if we screwed up anything so we actually got the bison in range for this which is nice we didn't lose out on the horses there's no mountains you know we're going to be very low on production in this one there's not really any hills but we also put ourselves in range of some fish which that's very late game food uh, it doesn't come early a lot of the tiles in here will be better like the bananas and we can buy out to the bananas very easily which will be a great food tile um so yeah, I think that, that one step move, I think was a very good move for us. We lost some jungle tiles that we could work, which could be great later for some science boost. But overall, I think this is this is good. And there's, uh, oh, it's a little close, Paris is close. But there's some production expands that we can do later on. So how about let's, uh, let's jump into one more and see what we'll do guys. All right guys, so we are back with our third spot. And this one's a little nice because we do have a um, some mountains into play here, which is nice. So, first things first, where do we want to move our warrior? This is a tough one. We only get one spot. We are bound by the river on three sides. We don't want to move to the settler spot because we don't get any additional information. And here we've got two hills. So, by moving to any of these we're not getting any additional information right we won't be able to see further than the tiles that we can already see so the the best place to move would be up to one of these hills here we're going to see two tiles here we're going to see two i think this is our better hill because there were more blocked in there and of course i didn't see past the forest so what do we got We've got two silver here, we've got sugar, two luxury resources. Sheep are within working range, but it'll be a while till we get out to there. Stone. Uh, what would we do here? 
what would we do here? Again, settling on the river is nice. Very nice. The Now this here is coast. So it's not lake. Um, lakes you know because they're actually additional food. There's two food per tile right off the bat. Um, coastal's nice. We can move... I'm almost debating settling on the stone because we'll keep both of these silver in range. A little bit of boost in production right off the bat. We'll have the stone for later on. But we can still work all these food tiles. The only thing is we're not coastal at that point. But I think that's what I would do. Again, it sucks to have to move right off the bat. Let's see what we got from this now. Do 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 bum bum. Why is this turn taking forever? Very odd. Very odd. So we've settled there. Um, we can also buy out to some sheep if we need. Um, but again, we'll have to work that to make it really productive. We've got uh, tiles that we can work that give us good good returns right off the bat remember you always want if at all possible a minimum of two food um a three food is really wonderful can just really get you a great start so where are our horses so good horses are right beside us and our bronze working for where is our iron and what do we got let's explore the map too at the same time <laughs> Come on. The city state has requested your assistance. So, horses still right above here, that's great. Iron is still in range. So you've noticed that, you know, by moving one space here and there, odds are you aren't gonna lose your stuff. But always keep that in mind. Always keep it in mind that by moving, you could be losing iron or horses. Um, keeping an eye on the tiles do too helps that you know in terms of the plains and the hills what they'll typically spawn on i don't know right off the bat what they exactly all can spawn on i might uh, drop that down further in the future for you guys as i collect my information but yeah so i think this is good it also gives us access to the third silver so we'll have lots of trading goods down the line we've got the mountain we've got the river so access to basically every building except for coastal which is unfortunate but we've got good production tiles in the hills. We've got some good food tiles in here. Looks great. Um, not amazing, but I, I could definitely work with this one nicely. So that's, you know, that's what I look for when it's starting a civilization. A um, few th key things to remember is always move your scouting unit first. Always, always, always. The more information you can get, the better. Um, keep in mind that when you do move your placement... If you're using the strategic balance um, for resources, you might be losing your iron or your horses. Uh, take as much time as you need on that first time turn, guys. You have all the time in the world. Don't make a quick decision. That one decision, you're using that town for the rest of the game. So make sure you put it in the best spot possible. And yeah, just keep in mind the distances, right? Three tiles in every direction is what you can work. So keep in mind where down the line you can work, what it will grow out to, um, and that mountains, rivers, coast, they all give you access to different things. If you just settle on a hill in the middle of nowhere, you lose access to all those different buildings that you could have bought. So very important, very important to keep in mind. So thanks for watching guys. I hope uh, this has been very informative for you and there's good tips. If there's something I missed or you wanna point something out that uh, could make the settling choices a little bit easier, Throw it in a comment down below. I always like to hear and make these better for everybody in the future. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to smash that like button. Um, it's nice to know that people enjoy what's going on. And if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're also on social media if you want to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, all that fun stuff. It's BJ and Co. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you guys next time. There will be both iron and horses. So we're just going to jump right on in. Which And that, that affects positioning because if you move you might be moving away from that stuff so very very important that way and yeah we're just going to kind of talk through probably a couple couple different spawns and what what to do 
After years of strife, what makes the most sense? Why? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another BJ and Co video. Today we are doing some Civilization V. If you didn't catch it this weekend, we had a big binge on the live stream. Did a couple good games on it. Um, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about you today about settling. Where to settle your first cities? Do you move? Do you stay where you are? All that sort of jazz. So might you move away? Might why might you stay where you are? So, right off the bat, um, if you don't have them up, toggle the map. You can should do your resource icons, as well as your yield icons. Those are very very easy to do and give you a ton of information. So, so. We're just going to jump on into it. What I've got here, uh, just random leader and typical multiplayer settings. So Pangea, Standard, Immortal, Quick Pace. And then the advanced setup, the one thing we've got here is Strategic Balance. If this is on, um, and this is kind of very important, when this is on, you're guaranteed on the tile that you start on, that within your first city, taking a look here, we've got... Um, a decent starting area. We've got some tundra underneath us so we're at the low end of the map um but we do have a river which is nice tundra doesn't tend to get a bunch of tiles so we might want to move away but now okay first things first